What is going on guys, Pat out in the shop. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about how to check push rod length on the small block Chevy uh, 350 I've been doing a cam on. Um, uh, push rod length, super important thing to check and I think a lot of guys overlook it and they just throw their stock push rods, whatever they think that is. Um, on a small block Chevy like this, for example, a normal push rod on a flat tappet um, hy hydraulic cam like this would be about a 7.8 inch, inch push rod. But you know, that's no, you're not on a guarantee. You always want to check because everything affects push rod length. If it's been decked, if the heads have been milled, the valve job's been done, if the rocker has been changed, and obviously the cam has been changed, everything can affect it. I'm not saying it's going to be a different size push rod, but there's a good chance it could be. So um, I'm just going to show you how I how I check it. It's a very simple method. And first thing you want to do is just make sure the motor is in top dead center on um, the compression stroke, on the power stroke. So um, you should watch that lifter come up on the intake and then go back down. And then just put your finger in there until you get her as close up as you can. And there we go, we're at top dead center. So you wanna take a dry erase marker or a Sharpie and just cover the top of the valve, just that valve tip, just like that. Let her dry for a minute. And what we're using today, uh, check push rod, is ComCam's 7702. I don't know if I can get that. It's a push rod length checker. This one only actually goes to 7.8 inch, inches, so you can see it winds out like that. Um, it goes from 6.8 to 7.8, so there's an inch span. And you actually turn it, and I don't know if you can see the line there. Every turn is 50 thou, so you can, from closed, you just keep spinning it out and you count your amount of turns every time you pass the line there. And that'll tell you uh, your length, or you can measure it if you want, if you have a, a vernier or something long enough. So you wanna do that. Um, I'm gonna start by winding it out 20 turns, which is the stock push rod length, or I can just grab one of my stock push rods I have, which I think I'm gonna do first just to show you. So here's a stock 7.8 inch push rod. We're gonna put that in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten this rocker arm until we have zero lash. So just spin the push rod with your fingers just until you feel some resistance. There, we, there it is, so it gets hard to turn. This is a hydraulic cam, so um, the lifter is gonna collapse a little bit when we roll the motor over in a second. Um, you can take the, uh, if you have a spare lifter, don't do use the lifter you're gonna have and take them apart and put shims in it so it doesn't collapse. Or you can use um, uh, like a lighter spring in the head. But this is a very mild cam and these are very weak springs. So I'm just gonna roll it over. I don't always like to do this because it's kind of hard on the lifters because you are gonna collapse the lifters. But it will give you a fairly accurate reading so you don't have to worry about skewing it too much on a low lift cam like this. So there's our uh, rest setting. We're gonna crank her over. And we go around twice. You can see it. There it comes again. Get her back to top dead center. There we go. So let's take this off and see what that pattern looks like. So there you go guys. My stock push rods are appearing to be too short. So when you pattern it out and the pattern is closer to the rocker arm, like stud, see how that's closer? That's an indication that the push rod's too short. All right. So when you have a, the opposite effect, if the push rod's too long, you'll notice it will start coming off the edge of the valve. So when, you're, when you start at no lift, it'll kind of be here and it'll work its so way here's down. Here's a side view of what you're actually doing when you're lengthening the push rod. I thought this would be an easy way to explain when people don't really understand. So here's your contact area on the tip of your valve and here on your rocker arm. So when I lengthen it, you can see, see how the arm, 
the whole area moves forward. It's going to do like a dramatic difference here. So here's way too short. And see how it favors the back side? As I lengthen the push rod, it moves it forward. So that's essentially all you're doing is you're trying to get that geometry of this of this rocker arm to be the tip of it to be dead center of the valve. So you want a nice even push on the valve. You're not trying to clock it, you know, cause premature guide wear. But that's the easiest way I can think of to show you what you're doing. So, but we'll see. There you go. That's what it's that that's what it'll look like when you add another so that I, that was another fifty thou. See how the contact patch a little bit smaller and it's dead center. So in a perfect world, we would need fifty thou longer push rods to make that contact patch dead center. And then you want to repeat that on the intake valve as well. So in quick summary, uh, make sure your lifters are all the way down, um, sharpie on the top tip of your valve, get your rocker arm on there, Get your maybe you try your stock push rod that you think is going to work or the ones that were in the motor, uh, get it in there, zero lash, tighten it down to zero lash, roll the mo motor over so the valve opens twice, pull that off and then see what that pattern looks like. Up closer to the top, too short, uh, closer to the bottom, too long. Dead nut center is where you want. That's perfect length push rods. They come in increments of 50, so um, you, you gotta kind of play with it and see what you want. Those adjustable push rods work really good from comp cams. Um, if I had to pick, I l always like to favor the top of the valve if you're kind of caught in between. So uh, I find that's kind of my safe bet is to always favor the top, especially if you're using this hydraulic cam and you're not getting that full lift because the lifter's collapsing. Make sure you just favor the top just a little bit if possible. Uh, it's always better than pushing down on the uh, down to the end of the valve or the very bottom of the valve there. Um, I'm hoping to uh, get some push rods and I th think I might even have some and then I will get this uh, this uh, video put out of how to set, set your valves properly, how, how to set your uh, preload on your hydraulic lifters and then I uh, should be able to throw the intake on and this thing's just about done. So uh, thanks guys, please like and subscribe. I put up videos a uh, couple of weeks lately and I hope to continue that so thanks.